How did you envision that this was gonna play out? After an explosive part one of the Vanderpump Rules reunion, part two is here, and it looks like the Scandaval bombshells aren't stopping anytime soon. As the reunion begins and the arguing picks up between Tom Sandoval and Lala Kent, James Kennedy makes an abrupt exit. I'm not gonna listen to this Okay, yes. hold on, come back. Die, man. You're right. Yeah, yeah. I'm going yeah, to Lala tell tells you we will not be discussing. She's a I narcissist. I may have an ego the Lala. size of this building. Stop. I ain't a narcissist. Yeah, that's you, that however, has a lot to do with that. It has nothing to do with it. Oh. That does. So, no, it doesn't. So, you moron. Okay. Lala. You're a moron. Hold your IUD the day you found out Stassi was pregnant. I'm getting like nervous, and it's like every time I listen to Tom, it's just like I keep getting angry, and then I keep having to go pee. Okay. <sighs> And we love it when the cast breaks the fourth wall. The cameras keep rolling during lunch to follow Tom Sandoval as he reunites with Raquel Levis in her trailer. I got emotional like right off the bat and uh, James has literally been exactly how I knew he would be. If I blink, he's like, oh, look at him blinking over there. Yeah. Like he's just like out of control. Sheena's fully groveling to Katie because she wants to be back into the group. Lala, who literally does not give a flying <laughs> about either one of us, calling me a narcissist. I saw everything go down. Oh, okay. And they're making you out to be, and me to be I basically know. like pathological liars. I see that, yeah. Even though we know that we're not. Yeah. And we haven't lied about anything besides this affair. After their intimate conversation, Tom declares he's done discussing the drama on camera and starts an argument with the crew and a producer. You, if you need a break, that's fine. I need a break from filming. Okay, then then go eat some lunch. Stop that's what filming we're me. You're continuing to talk. You know what I mean? I want to talk to her like I don't want a camera in my goddamn face. We will. We won't. You're not understanding. I, 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 you're saying that you want to talk to her off camera. Exactly. I know, but dude, I just need, I don't feel relaxed. She doesn't either. We have to watch what we say. Like, I don't want to, I don't want that. I'm in a very delicate position right now. Just dude, take a beat. This needs to take a beat. Okay. As for the temporary restraining order that Raquel filed against Sheena, Tom was tight lipped when Andy asked him to share his thoughts on the matter. I wasn't there. Um, why is it so difficult to Because I feel like I'm between a rock and a hard place. Then just keep your mouth shut. Then just That's shut your, your mouth. Andy interjects to let Sheena know that he has something to pass along from Raquel. And this is a request for dismissal because it is in process that she is dropping the restraining order and that's yes. what that is. I'd rather she didn't, nice. honestly. We don't need um, her anywhere near any of us. Now that the restraining order has been dropped, Sheena has an emotional reaction on set. Huh? It's taken its toll yeah. on her. Just I like, totally, even though like, she- I totally get it. What's, what's- Having this for the last few weeks, first of all, the, the betrayal of two of my best friends, that, is heartbreaking in itself. But then to throw all of this on top of it, when I did nothing but take care of her, I gave her a home to live in when she didn't have anywhere to go. She I was the sister to her that she, she didn't have growing up. Yeah. I did everything for her. And for her to do this to me, it has taken such a toll on me. I have not been able to be completely present for my daughters and all this legal shit that I'm dealing with. And Bravo saved the best for last. Before making her way to set to face the cast for the first time, Raquel sits down with Andy one-on-one, -on -one, where she reveals new details about her relationship with Tom. How did you envision that this was going to play out? with Ariana. Did you think that there was a path forward for the two of you? Yeah, I think I was living in my own little reality, hoping that it would work out. After admitting that she's scared to see Ariana, Raquel prepares to walk out for her first time on set of the reunion, as Tom Schwartz takes a Xanax. 
was that? Tenex. Jesus. Are you taking E? Xanax. What stress. is it? You're taking Xanax? 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 Stress. The pill bottle on You're hand. You're stressed? You can tell people it's none of your business. Oh, it's like it's my medication. It's like Lazapron. I don't usually take it, but I was like, oh. Tony, yes. you're taking Xanax. Why are you Wanda? taking it? No, no. stop it now. No. Stop oh. it. Oh. Jesus oh. Christ. Don't hit me. No, no, it's not. Pass it it's around. His. That's Schwartz's medication. Well, so he, like... He's throwing it. Stop. I will take it every day. Once a month. Why you take it now? Because I'm nervous. Hi, Raquel. Hi, Andy. Tune into Bravo next Wednesday for part three of the Vanderpump Rules season 10 reunion. And keep it locked to E! News for all of the latest Scandaval updates.